You may say, well, my mother, father never told me they loved me. And that might be true. But God told you that he loved and needed you. And he did that when he made you, when he formed you, when he created you. When did you first notice that you were naked? Someone lied to you, told you that you were not loved, that you were not needed. And that's when you first became naked. Love, acceptance, and purpose are two things. It is an assignment and a garment, something that you wear. And when clothed within your assignment, you are unstoppable by life's cares. Someone introduced a lie. And that lie was that you weren't loved, desired, or needed. You bought into that lie. And now that lie has stripped you of your assignment and it has stripped you of your garment. You no longer feel accepted or loved because you've bought into the lie and now you are naked. Go back to the Garden of Eden. Satan was not able to successfully destroy or snatch away from Adam and Eve their purpose until he was successful in selling them a lie. And once they accepted the lie, they became naked. You see, their purpose was to be fruitful and to multiply, but also to do this in the image of the one who made them. And the image of God is love. The image of God has everything to do with positivity. It has everything to do with your assignment, which will set you apart and give you purpose for your life. When Satan is successful in snatching this purpose, this assignment, or this garment from us, we are now naked. And what comes in next? Shame, sorrow. Because the very next thing you see Adam and Eve doing is hiding themselves and trying to cover their awareness of them being naked and we do the same thing. Once we've bought into the lie that we are not accepted or needed, it really doesn't matter who the devil would have used to spin that lie. Now, most often he will use a parent, a guardian, someone who's mistreated us, said ill things to us, abused us, molested us. They are just the tool. And we grow up angry at the tool. The tool was only used to get you out of your clothes or your assignment. Stop focusing your attention now on the tool and focus on the person with the tool in their hands. His name is Lucifer, Satan. And why must you know this? Knowing this helps you now to focus your energy where it must be. And your energy must be on two things. The first thing is remembering your assignment that was given to you from God. You may say, well, my mother, father never told me they loved me. And that might be true. But God told you that he loved and needed you. And he did that when he made you, when he formed you, when he created you. So you've got to go back to basics and understand that. Even if all of the earthly examples never had you understand that you were needed and that you were loved. And then the second place where your attention needs to be focused is on your enemy. And that's not your mother, your father, or your guardian. That person again is Satan. And once now you know this and you've identified this and realized this, now you can get to work at rebuking Satan and at putting Satan in his rightful place and that is under your feet.